Yeah, we're going to start with a look at the tropics uh, for your forecast. What we are seeing is tropical wave invest in 97L. That's the one getting all the attention as it should. The National Hurricane Center has the system with a 90% chance of development over the next 48 hours, not even just the next uh, seven days, 48 hours. So if you're watching earlier this morning, the range or the area where that system may develop shrunk because it's likely going to develop rather quickly here in the next 48 hours. This system invests in 96L. We were tracking last week. It only has a 10% chance of developing now as it continues to track north into the central Atlantic. A new system uh, just off the northeast coast there has a chance, a 10% chance of developing as well. So low chance of development for those systems in the slightly cooler uh, areas across the Atlantic, but where we expect tropical development this time of year, it has a high chance of developing. Aaron, the next name on the list, a lot of signs this could strengthen to be the first hurricane of the season, and there's a lot of confidence in the forecast, and that is huge when it comes to plotting and tracking tropical systems. It is expected to move a little bit west northwest. If this trend continues, then we'll be pretty confident that it will stay out of the Gulf. And I'm pretty confident in that right now as we speak, because it does look like as we track the system overall, there's a lot of high pressure across the Atlantic. But as it gets north of the Caribbean, you see the high pressure breaking down. That's going to allow it to turn a little bit more to the north, more so than continuing that westward track. And so as long as this continues to play out, we're not worried about this system impacting the Gulf or possibly even the eastern coast, except for rip currents and high surf. Uh, several other tropical waves are set to come off the coast of Africa following the system. We'll be keeping an eye on that, but that is the next seven days out is where I paused it there. Look at this view. Oh, the Gulf is looking good this morning. This is from our Coastal Parks beach camera uh, there at Port Aransas. A bird flying across the screen and we have a gorgeous sunrise. There have been a few spotty showers looking to the north closer, more so to San Antonio and Matagorda Bay, but those have since weakened. There is still a chance for some spotty showers, more so the Rockport area later on this morning. 83 degrees right now on our beach camera. It feels like it's 92. Those waves are about two feet overall at the coast. We're still talking fairly flat conditions today, but wave heights do go up into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And here's why our wind strengthens. So we're going to see 12 to 22 mile per hour winds again Thursday and Friday with some gusts possibly closer to 30 miles per hour. So we're going to get some more wind that's going to increase our wave heights. Now, additionally, there is a weak upper level low that is going to track across the Gulf. We're not expecting much to come from this except for a chance for some more moisture. So as we head into uh, Thursday, but more so Friday and Saturday, we may see some energy and some moisture from that system impacting our coastal bend location and that would mean Friday could trend to be the day we have the best shot of rain in the extended forecast. So you'll see that in your seven day overall. We're tracking a lot of heat and sunshine. Now Wednesday and Thursday likely our hottest days of the week ahead. Once we get to Friday, pending that rain forecast, but with the rain moving in where we could see some cooler conditions, this is the day I think we have the best shot at rain Friday, right? but it's still 30% at this point. Confidence may grow. We may raise that a little bit as we head throughout the week ahead. Carly, thanks.